elephants are some of the most dangerous animals out here in the bush and it's a very good idea not to get in front of them and to watch elephants body language all the time so you want to you want to watch the bigger elephants you don't worry too much about the smaller ones but the bigger ones like this female just here you want to see if she lifts up her head and stops flapping her ears. A lot of people think that when an elephant flaps her ears, or l and, and it means that they cross, but it actually is just to cool them down. All their blood in their body goes through their ears in a very short space of time, and it can cool their blood down to a point which lets them walk around in the hot African sun like they're doing now. Otherwise, big animals like this would be confined to the shade until it got a bit cooler. But she's now moving off. She's very relaxed with this youngster. Let's go forward a little bit more and see if we can get a little bit closer and have another look at what they're doing. Now, elephants feed with their trunk. They pick up bits and pieces of plant material with their trunk and then put it into their mouth. And a trunk is a funny appendage. A trunk is basically the extension of the nose and the top lip. And it is the most amazing organ on an elephant. Without the use of their trunk, their ears or their feet. An elephant wouldn't survive. And look at those beautiful feet. They've got the weirdest feet. Always looks like their back legs always look like they got baggy pajamas on. Baggy grey pajamas. The young elephant here next to us couldn't quite pull out the branch with its trunk and so it's got the whole tree in its mouth. Have a look there. It wasn't strong enough to pull out the tree. It's now just biting off pieces of branch at mouth level. This time of the year, about 80% of their diet is made up of woody species of plants. So, not grass, but bark, branches, leaves, roots, tubers and bulbs. And just have a look at how dexterous that trunk is. Do you want to know how is an elephant's structural DNA important to its survival? Well, I'd like to say that elephants are, next to leopard, one of the most adaptable animals on the face of the planet. Certainly in Africa that's the case. And without its DNA allowing it to adapt very quickly, and I'm talking about within a couple of generations, and that is incredibly quickly uh, by any species' account. Elephants can adapt to life in the forest. They live in thick forests, in jungle in fact, all the way out to deserts. One of the very, very few animals that occurs in that range of habitats. And it's because their bodies can adapt so well. They can get longer legs in sandier areas. They can get smaller, shorter, straighter tusked, tusks in areas with large bush. They can develop big bodies with big mass and big muscles when there's not a lot of grass but a lot of big trees that require strength to push them down. They can uh, develop stronger hips to stand on their back legs, to reach up into taller trees. Um, smaller ears to cope with a more humid environment. There is just an endless sort of mix of elephants and they can do this all within a, a couple of generations from, from one another. And uh, like I said, that is truly remarkable. It usually takes many, many generations before you get something like that right. And in an elephant's case, that isn't true. Get this one. In profile, have a look at the forehead and you'll notice that the forehead is round. That is a male elephant. 